Hi, let's talk about a comic book. Let's talk about Southern Bastards. Southern Bastards um, is a book by Jason Aaron with art by Jason Latour and we are going to talk about the deluxe image of hardback. Um, this is a story set in Craw County in the deep south of America um, and you follow a gentleman called Earl Tubbs as he returns home to bury his dad who's recently died. Earl left the area when he was young because he just had a guts full of the small town, small minded people there. On arriving he immediately starts to butt heads with Coach Boss um, who is the football coach for the local team, a former high school star, and he seems to run the town. You find out that Coach Boss is essentially the kingpin of this small town. Similar to as you've seen in many a sort of B-movie, he runs the show, he's got his barbecue restaurant that he seems to operate out of, and he always wants to have a winning, super tough football team. Um, they butt heads and that results in unfortunate results for them. Um, I won't spoil exactly what happens at the end of the first half of this book because um, it is split into almost acts. Um, the second half of the book is where you see Coach Boss's origin story. You see how he was a small, weedy, poor guy who got bullied by his friends and family and he gets taken under the wing of a blind fella who teaches him how to be super tough at football. I mean, one of the training the scenes that he has constantly in the book, in the book is he's um, he's constantly trying to knock down a tree by tackling it. I mean, it's ridiculous, but it works. It makes him like into this super tough football player, and, and he soon sort of takes control of the team and then becomes the uh, becomes the captain, and then in turn the coach. Um, and then what you find is that there's this ominous foreboding in the background for this whole section of the book because you find out that Earl Tubbs also had a relative who is obviously going to come looking for revenge. Um, that's the basic story. Um, it goes on for another two, um, two acts, let's say. There's, an, there's another hardcover book coming out that um, it due out in December um, and I'm looking forward to getting that. I've read the stories already in digital but I sort of held off waiting for a more prestige format book to come out. Um, looking at the book itself, it is hardcover and it's got all the deluxe features except for size. It's the size of a standard hardcover trade. Um, it's got a <coughs> nice I think it's so, no, it's a glued binding on the ribbon, um, but there's no gutter loss. It reads well and it fits nicely in the hand. It's got a nice um, square spine on it. The there's, You don't get a dust jacket with it, um, but you've got a nice quality feel to the paper. It's nice thick pages and the, the artwork looks great. It's a real shame they didn't do it in a bigger format because I think it would have really made the artwork pop because the art is very stylized. It's got this sort of Almost what you, if it was film, you'd say it had a red filter over it. Um, and I just think a larger format would have really, really made it, really made it look good. Um, but the artwork stands out. It's not difficult to get your eyes used to. Um, the story flows well and you get over a lot of atmosphere in the book. Um, you do get some extras. You get a nice little bit at the start with um, Jason Aaron explaining his views on the south. You get a cover gallery at the back you get strange you get some sketches and, and then you get some um some recipes from the um from the barbecue place um so if you want to make some southern bastards and styled um banana pudding um and mussels in guinness beer or biscuits then <laughs> you you can you can go ahead and do that um oh and also fried apple pies as well the fried apple pies actually sound quite nice um but if you're a fan of stories like criminal um, or you like something that isn't superhero based and you want a sort of grown up adult story to 
uh, to get into, um, then this is well worth picking up. This is the kind of story that you could you could see being a sort of mini series um, on telly. It wouldn't, you wouldn't want to drag it out any further, but you could see it being a mini series or even let's say a very moody film. Um, but it's one of those books where you don't need that to happen because the, when you read it and when you look at the art, you're immediately drawn in and you are taken away with the story. So you essentially see a film in your head when you're reading it. Um, and I think that's a great sign of a good graphic novel, particularly this type of graphic novel as well. Um, let me know your views on it. Um, and please feel free to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.